What's up everybody? We're gonna be taking a look at the 2017 R, Golf R, right? We're gonna be taking a look at it and uh, there's this kid on the car lot out here with his dad right now and I'm just curious. I think him and his dad are looking at a Jetta, but um, I'm curious to see if we can get this kid's eyeballs on this R. So we're gonna get in, pull it up over there, do a little revving, and uh, we'll see if we can get his attention for a minute. Because, I mean, this car is definitely an attention getter. Okay, now it's blacked out, so it's definitely uh, sleek. But um, let's go ahead and hop in and uh, see what we can do. All right, we're in it. So, uh, you know, I'm in a really tight spot out here. I mean, they got tons and tons of Volkswagens parked all over the place. But that right there really just made things really easy for me getting out. And, um, yeah. Let's see if we can get this kid to look over here. Hold on a minute. See if we can see this kid first. He's over here with his dad looking at a Jetta, I believe. And um, let's see, as, as long as they haven't gone and test drove anything yet. Who knows, people don't sit around too long. And um, I do not see them. Where did they go? Okay, so the parents and the son and the dad are nowhere to be found right this moment. But we're going to get out. We're going to take a look at this car and see what it's all about. But before we do that, we're just going to take it for a quick test drive because, you know, I love test driving cool cars. And that's definitely what we got going on here today. Um, again, it's the R line. Before we hit the road, let me show you a few things here. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, it's the Golf R, DCC with navigation, uh, 2.0 liter, 16 valve turbo, four motion all wheel drive, which makes a big difference. 30 on the highway, 23 city average combined of 25. Pretty good stuff. They don't have the horsepower rating on here, but I think I remember it is around third, 300 horsepower. And uh, 41,615 is the price on this car. But then this this comes around oh and as you can see here was 41 615 now 44 614 what added on to this car to make the price rise up so much safety and security package splash guards wheel locks nitrogen aquapel dealer prep demand adjustment what could these things be what could these things mean i do not know what they mean to me is you're getting more accessories added onto your vehicle. So anyways, we do those on just about every Volkswagen here at Stokes VW. It's nice to get some extras though, right folks? All right, let's see what this is all about. I've been asked to definitely film this car and show what it can do and what the excitement is with the R Golf or Golf R. Man, I'm slaughtering it, aren't I? Let's go ahead and cut our, well, I don't want the radio on. I don't want to get a copyright infringement by my friends at YouTube. But um, I'm liking the steering wheel. Just before I filmed this one, I filmed the S model GTI and I filled the SE. SE was similar on the steering wheel, except for it had red stitching instead of gray. And it had a different badge there that said GTI instead of R. Of course, I don't have a seat belt on. Let me fix that real quickly. Oh. Yeah, it's important to wear your seatbelt when you're driving when you're driving. Luckily I'm on a road that doesn't really have a whole lot of traffic. Um, it's this little side road next to Volkswagen. It's just a great road to really test drive on and kind of get a feel for the car. They've got a couple little areas where we can do some turnoffs and then a nice straightaway. For the most part, you got construction vehicles cruising around back here. My battery on my camera says it's got two bars out of five, so we couldn't be dying very soon on the camera. So luckily with this car, I can kind of speed off quickly. So let's go ahead and give it a little jolt, see what we got going on. Oh my goodness. See, that's, that's where it, it's nice. When you need the power, it's there for you. And, uh, and it's an automatic, okay? So I can actually film while driving, don't have to shift gears up to the six speeds paddle shifters over here if i want to downshift like boom right now down the third gear 
Okay, getting a little sportier. Let's go down to second. Those revs are nice. Let's rev in on that right there. And then of course, a big truck riding behind me always makes things a little bit more, hmm, anyways, give it a little gas. You have to put it in manual mode for you to be forced to shift gears with the paddle shifter. But it's nice to be able to downshift whenever you want off the steering wheel, which is nice. And you know, this is basically a, uh, this is basically a, it's a sports car. And to me, it's like a crotch rocket with four wheels. And there's not a whole lot of other brands that have a four door car like this, other than like maybe a mini, no, not even a Mini Cooper, right? I mean, what are you gonna buy a club car and, and, and look cool going down the road? I just don't think so. Fender stereo system though, all that good stuff. LED lighting up top, which made things just a little bit nicer. Why is my camera all out of focus? <laughs> anyway, let's give it a little more power again and see what we get. That feels great. I'm liking it a lot. You know, you kind of can feel that you got all-wheel drive for motion. I mean, the car really just sticks to the road nicely. As you can kind of... I mean, it just sticks to the road. I'm going to take a quick little turn here in a second. Right here. I think... Mm, nope, that's not the correct turn. Hang on. Gosh, it's like instant power right off the rip. Now my camera is beeping and saying the battery's going to die. So within any minute, I'm going to lose battery power. I'll have to switch out cameras when we get back to the store to finish this video up. So far, feeling great. Um, the seats are comfortable. I'm about six foot one. My head's not touching the ceiling at all. This is good stuff. Nice layout. And as it's getting dark tonight, I think we're gonna have to do a night review. All right, I'm back. The batteries died. <laughs> Anyways, it was a fun little test drive for what it was. Definitely would love to hit the interstates with this car and see what it can do. All right, so this, the sun is basically coming down. It's, it's almost dark. My camera seems to always make it look a little bit brighter outside than what it really is. But um, I do have an appointment over at the Mazda store tonight to film the CX-9 uh, during the evening time. So I'm going to go ahead and start my night review right now on this car. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling, get the cameras rolling, get the lights rolling, and let's just quit talking and go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera and let's do this. All right, so the vehicle is running. Now to start off this video on the lighting, right now the light switch is not clicked on all the way or anything like that. This is what you're gonna get, just daytime running lights in the daytime. So if you can see that there, Basically, this is really sweet. You got these light bars that go from the front ones and the back ones, and uh, they're all LED, which looks really pretty sweet on this car. Just gives it a mean look. Now let's go ahead and move back around and cut our lights onto the next to the next level. All right, now we got our lights on. So these are park lights, okay? As you can see. Now you got a little light right down here that's on, your park light. Two small little LEDs. Still, everything else is the same. Okay, there's no side marker lights on the vehicle or anything like that. Let's look at the back. Now, during the daytime, when the car is just running, the lights aren't on in the back. But now again, we got our park lights on. That's what you get. It looks good. Almost like the front headlights, kind of how the boxes roll through like that. So that's looking pretty sweet. Third brake light is right up there. All right, now let's cut everything on full fledge. Even pull that out and get your fogs on on the bottom. See what we got going on. Okay, well, there's no fogs at the bottom like on your S and your SE model car. Nothing's really changed a whole lot other than our projector light right there shining through. So let me. I was trying to get this LED light strip on the bottom to, uh, to light up. Let's click it right there, see if that helps. 
So they're kind of confusing. I'm almost to think, folks, that really this light bar down here that I thought was a bunch of LEDs is not has nothing to do with this. That is your blinkers. So let's go ahead and cut the blinkers and the flashers on and see what we got here. Now, where is our button to cut on the flashers? Well, it's right up here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so all our lights are on, our flashers are on. Let's see what we got going on. Yep, that's right. Pretty sweet. I love LED <laughs> flashing lights. They look cool. That's pretty nice. Wow. Volkswagen really does it up with their lighting systems on some of these cars. That looks good. Let's go look at the rear. Also LED right here in your uh, mirrors. Looks good. Let's go around to the back. Looking pretty good back there. Let's see if they added in LED lights up under the plate frame. Yeah, you do. Right here. Got that. Let's see what's going on in the back. What's cool about that emblem when you put it in reverse, it does pop up the backup camera. Um, let's see what we got going on back here for lights at nighttime so you can see in your trunk. You're gonna have basically a light right there on that side. You do not get one on that side, okay? So there's that one light right there in the back. Again, you got your brake light up top. I can't really do both at the same time here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our interior because Volkswagen's really gone over the top on this car with the interior lighting, as you can go ahead and see. You'll notice right off the get-go, a little tough because it's not ex exactly dark yet, but there's a nice blue strip right here that lights up and illuminates. Also down here on the kick panel down there, on the right here, check that out. That lights up in blue. If y'all can see that. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and sit on the inside. And even up under here, there's lights that shine down on your feet. So that's kind of cool. I know the ladies like that. They love looking at their pretty little feet with the heels on, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and close our door. Ugh. Nice solid car, I tell you. I mean, it really has a nice solid feel. There's those lights again illuminating. We'll go ahead and cut our flashers off. Gauge clusters looking good. Look at that. Looking pretty sweet. Zoom. There we go. Of course, all you know, all your stuff like here and here and down over here is all illuminated. Um, you know, that's what that looks like. Pretty, pretty good. Everything, every little button and control in the car has got some kind of illumination going on behind there. Even the start and stop engine button, all of this, as you can see, even right up into here. Pretty nice. Uh, again, LED lighting up top up there, if you can see that. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's look in our rear views. Look at that. Okay, now that seat, this is what I'm trying to show y'all. That's an LED light behind there. This right up here up top. That I've, I've been telling people in these videos that the other color lighting they put in cars is horrible for women doing makeup. Okay, so if there's a lady watching the video, let, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think these HD or these LED lights are a better color for when y'all are doing makeup? Or would you rather have that yellowish color light? I bought my wife some Samsung LED lights to go around her mirror in our master bedroom and they're so bright and you can really, it just makes a big difference. I almost want to start vlogging in front of them. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, so lighting's nice on the interior. Not a whole lot going on in the back back here, but you do got some LED lights up top up there. Okay. So that's about it for the most part. I, I don't see any illumination going on right there though. That's kind of weird. It's almost like they just didn't want to add it right there. They put it here, but not over there. It's a little tough to see though at night or during the, during the late, late afternoon right now. But hopefully this is good enough for some of y'all watching these night videos that I do. The steering wheel looks great. This is a lot of these guys' dream car. I mean, a lot of the guys that work here, this is the dream car for them owning the R. So there it is. Come on down to Stokes Volkswagen, take a test drive in it. It's an amazing vehicle. And as you can see when I was driving it earlier, it's just a lot of fun 
got a lot of power. So come on down. If you're watching, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Send us a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm learning from y'all. Y'all learning from me. It's just a happy community on this channel. So thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,